hello summoners welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be doing a full exploration guide on act 6.3 so we have the spreadsheet uh, and a uh, huge shout out to Janik for making this pre uh, spreadsheet he is also a member of the umcoc podcast and a lot of people from there and also like a few people who are moderators in the subreddit uh, they all also helped a lot so thanks to Janik for letting me use this spreadsheet and making this guide uh, so now uh, this will be a six video series uh, this is the first part in which we will discuss 6.3.1 all the parts in it all the nodes uh, the mini boss and the boss at the end of the video uh, so let's get on with the first part here so let me just zoom in uh, and uh, yeah so here yeah, like the first change that you will notice in 6.1 is that you don't have global nodes but like each path has kind of a global node with the basically the last fight has incoming nodes uh, to the entire path so in the first path for example you will have delirium and dismay uh, they are mentioned so they are the path link nodes and uh, then each of the fight will have their individual nodes and uh, so the first path uh, it has diablo with kinetic brewing uh, guillotine with power seal, uh, magic with mystic rod. So mystic rod, if you don't know, it basically gives you some uh, like mystic characters, uh, a plus uh, a fury with a plus attack rating and stuff, uh, just increasing damage. Uh, and then Loki with mighty charge too. So you should reparry here uh, so that like when they're char dashing at you, then you won't be able to parry them. Uh, but then you have hood with mesmerize uh, so 7% chance for them to evade and then stun you and Symbia supreme with redouble determination then scarlet witch with spite and morning star with oppressive curse so the difficult like the notable fights here uh, are magic look and scarlet witch magic like it's just a big magic uh, and uh, uh, she also has some plus attack so uh, the limbo damage would be a lot and stuff but uh, of course there are some counters to, a lot of counters to magic these days uh, uh, Janik here he used uh, Captain America with a 200% science boost so that works uh, then Loki it's not that difficult of a fight uh, you will just have to deal with mighty charge here uh, and then uh, the reparry method will also work if you don't know what that is then I have also made a video on it uh, and so has like legacy and uh, unofficial kebab, uh, kebab mic has also made a video on it uh, then uh, Scarlet Witch uh, she has spite uh, so she will gain some power gain in, like when you fight um, like uh, Scarlet Witch uh, you can always get your power drain you can always get a poison on you a heal block so just uh, keep that in mind uh, then we move on from there to parts 2 so here uh, we have uh, uh, like the path link nodes are no retreat and footloose so like make sure uh, you remember the node retreat part because the degen uh, will do a lot of damage and uh, then here we have uh, the first fight is rhino with fury that's all right then ebony more with faltering mind uh, then the thing the faltering mind does i think is that it increases uh, the falter debuff duration it's not that big of a deal like the node itself but ebony more and such a stacked ebony more uh, is kind of hard to deal with uh, just remember that if you don't get the parry, you always can re-parry, look for the openings, play safely and you should be fine there, juggernaut with the bubble shield, so uh, you take a lot of block damage as like every time you block, you, uh, your block proficiency would basically get lower, then morning star with bane, mr sinister, this is the next hard fight with this track, so this track basically what it does is uh, that uh, you should have uh, 3 debuffs on the opponent, uh, and uh, like void is really good for it uh, captain america you can use him with synergies if he's a high sick devil that he will you know put the armor break on and also like uh, 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 the petri uh, the petrified debuff will help reduce uh, the healing of uh, mr sinister then uh, we have the mamu with mighty charge so reparry then champion the champion stun and thing brave and bold up the node itself is not difficult but thing of course with no retreat as well uh, is kind of a difficult fight so play that uh, well I mean it's just a big thing fight uh, the local node itself is not that 
Like so, uh, path three here. Then we have Miles Morales. Uh, so first of all, the path link nodes are pill for regeneration, which is fine, but the mesmerize. So now all the fights uh, they can evade you and stun you. So uh, ideally, like bring a ghost. I think that is the best option. Uh, ghost uh, with or without synergies should work here in most of the fights, except like Anhylus. Uh, make sure you have someone for him uh, and uh, basically with ghost if you don't already know uh, the opponent can't evade when you're uh, doing the critical hits uh, also like you can potentially bring in a corvus with proxima synergy get the two strike on and of course there are other options as well but ghost is probably the best one here so miles morales with fry ultron with uh, extension protocol wasp with aggression armor uh, Spider-Man, Stark and Hans, uh, Nightcrawler, like all of this uh, Ghost can do and Anhylus, like this is the hard fight here it has trial by fire uh, which means that uh, you basically have to uh, be aggressive otherwise uh, you get, uh, get a incinerate on you so like either bring an incinerate immune character or play really aggressive or have a Corvus who can you know uh, at 1% uh, awaken covers can play at that as well uh, so i think mephisto is one of the peep, one of the champions who can do really well here he's a decent counter to anhylus you can have the fate steal on uh, no, uh, the soul what is it called uh, the imprison soul imprisonment on uh, with the sp1s do some decent damage uh, and uh, he's immune to incinerate might work uh, but of course there are other better options as well then spider gwen uh, ghost can do it and captain america infinity war ghost can do it as well if you don't have ghost like this path becomes really uh, a lot dif more uh, a lot difficult like, uh, but with ghost it's not that bad then path four here uh, the path link nodes are biohazard and clap back so of course it's biohazard so you can't bring in you know um, champions who are not bleed immune at least there should be bleed immune so uh, invisible woman uh, force field like if this were any other invisible woman i'd say bring in a nick fury but uh, because it's biohazard that's probably not the best way to go so uh, here like you just bring a decent counter for invisible woman the node the local node force field itself doesn't do that much ghost with cornered uh, yeah, anyone like Corvus can do it again uh, charge then Hulk uh, for regeneration not a difficult fight Green Goblin with masochism yellow jacket with power sting please and don't remember the power sting and don't use your special attacks then Dr. Octopus with uh, aggression armor Modoc with singularity and mysterious so I think this is like a uh, this is the one of the easier parts in here like this was the first part that I did in 6.3 uh, and uh, Corvus can do deal with a lot here with, with you can get the first charging ghost then second on Hulk and Green Goblin you'll have class advantage with two charges then Doc Ock will have class advantage more Doc you can get the third charge Mysterio you need uh, like ideally you should definitely have a armor break character to deal with the enhanced visibility node as well with Mysterio so his helmet is broken with the armor break uh, and then Modoc uh, like you can deal with Corvus and stuff uh, it's a lot of counters to Modoc as well but yeah the, um, make sure if you're bl bringing a bleed immune character you are not hitting uh, a lot into his block because then you will take the poison damage then path 5 uh, we have uh, uh, the linked nodes are con the fan stop, one stop running on fumes. And then uh, the actual fights are Sentinel with Bubble Shield, Mephisto with Soul Seeker, Punisher 2099 uh, with Maximum Overdrive, Nebula. This is uh, like bring a shock immune character or a ghost can do it with uh, ghost can deal with this as well. But uh, if you have thing or something, then you can bring him as well. Then Blade for trans uh, with Transducer, Domino for so fill, Human Torch for Flooded. And that's not uh, a very difficult node, like it just uh, gives him some temperature when you're dealing lead attack and stuff. And then Omega Red with Aspect of War. So here, uh, the notable fights are Sentinel, Mephisto, and Nebula. 
So, uh, as uh, Janik has said here, that if you have an Aegon, then Sentinel is a pretty long fight. You can build him up, then Mephisto, Human Torch can melt him, uh, and uh, a lot of champions can deal with him. Just make sure you have like countered him and you don't take a lot of incinerate damage and stuff. Then Nebula, the EMP mod, um, if you get like EMP uh, mod, you put, he puts a uh, shock on you every time the opponent will. Uh, use um, like it basically first you get some charges then ever, whenever the opponent uses a uh, special attack you get some shock on you so shock immune character Scorvus it's a passive shock uh, Electro if you have him he can do some interesting stuff with that uh, but like it's just nebula at the end of the day uh, then in part 6 uh, we have oscillate and bleed immunity so Colossus with Empathetic, like here the link nodes are really not that tough. So, Colossus with Empathetic Lock, uh, that's not bad. The Cable with Buffet, the Brain Void, that should work. Captain America would work. Uh, the 15% Buffet, just keep it, that in mind, it's uh, like a lot of regeneration. Uh, and then Archangel with Pain of Dumbbella, then Void with Long Distance Relationship, you can get some healing there if you have well power. Venom, then Hulk Ragnarok, then Electro with Pill for Regeneration. Now, the thing here is that you, it is really immune, so otherwise, whenever I see an Electro, I just take in my Archangel. You can take in like uh, a Namor if you have a sick 200 Namor or something, but like there are a lot of Electro counters, just bring one uh, with eventually I Bleeds, uh, then Iceman with Bane. So, that is the all the six parts, and then we're going to move on to the mini boss here. Uh, and the main boss is always going to be Black Bolt with uh, Life Cycle, Limber, Aggression, Regeneration, Fury and Lionheart. So here the Life Cycle is very annoying. Uh, the best counter to Life Cycle in my opinion is Wasp. But uh, uh, a lot of champions can do it. Basically you, you keep have to knocking them down by either heavy attacks or special attacks. And then uh, when you have a long timer on that uh, counter, like uh, uh, every time you knock them out, you uh, you have more time to kill them. So it's not that difficult of a fight, but keep in mind you have Limba as well, so you will rely a lot on special attacks. And Void can do a really good job here, prevent the healing to back to 10%. Uh, Captain America is pretty decent here as well. Uh, a lot of mystic characters like Symbiote Supreme. Uh, are really good here as well then to the final medusa boss you'll f fight her obviously every time in this quest uh, six times and uh, here uh, you have do you bleed uh, bleed vulnerability counter strike explosive personality a five percent buffet and a uh, fury ten percent fury so here like uh, you definitely need some big bleed damage characters like uh, you know uh, i use gwen pool jenic here use symbiote supreme uh, who is a really, really good character uh, against Medusa and people who have buffs anyways like in my rank 3 6 stars Symbiote Supreme gameplay video you can see that fight uh, also click just the link here in the description and you, you it will take you to Jenix channel and then um, you know, like Gwenpool uh, and Domino can do it like Nick Fury is really good for it and so a lot of counters basically you should have a good bleed champion uh, who can you know uh, have the damage output to also deal with the buffet uh, and uh, like with Gwenpool I think like even if uh, she is not using her special attacks you can just tank the sp3 and something you know uh, so yeah that is it for this video 14 minutes over 14 minutes I was trying to keep it less than 10 but a lot of information to give so uh, I should see you with 6.3.2 in a few days um, at max a week and uh, this is a new series that I wanted to try so thanks to Jenik again uh, thanks for watching uh, hope you like the video like and subscribe for more content like this and uh, comment if you have any questions on below share this video and uh, most importantly stay safe thank you